hey guys welcome back to my channel and if you're new welcome so we have another madam glam unboxing today this is for their new year's collection um house of glam i believe the collection is called so we have four colors this is four out of eight and these are the ones i chose this is a gorgeous green color This one is a beautiful skin tone color, so when I do my character drawings, I have that gorgeous purple. And then the last one is like a bluish gray. I'm gonna attempt to do a short set. So, this application only took me five minutes um, in actual time. I did the one bead method for most of the nails and I didn't do it too bulky because I, I just wanted a little bit of acrylic on it just so I could do the, the nail design with the gel polish. So I'm using clear acrylic. I prefer doing long nails because I think it's easier it's way easier than doing short nails because most of the times but all of the times when I do short nails um, the nail kind of comes out looking bulky or too wide it's like a it's a thing with short nails I don't know but I'm gonna be I'm gonna try to practice more I'm doing them yeah so this is for the short nail people <laughs> and I'm sure some of you would say this is not short enough um, I'm gonna be trying to do some overlays as well on my natural nail and yeah we'll see so after this I'm gonna be doing like a puppy dog on one of my nails I saw this video on Pinterest and that's the tutorial that I'm following to draw this puppy. Um, it's a really cute design, but I'm gonna let you watch the rest of this and you'll see my filing routine again. It's gonna be a little ASMR moment. So I'll see you once I begin designing my nails. Okay, so now that we're finished, let's start with this color. And Madame Glam's gel polishes are thick, so usually you won't really need more than one coat, but you can if you want to. Um, these cured perfectly. I didn't have any problems with them in the nail lamp this time, I guess because they're shorter. They fit perfectly under the nail lamp so 
everything cured evenly and there's no wrinkling in the polish. I cured these for 60 seconds and I'm gonna um, rub some, what's that called, chrome powder on this finger after I, I, I cure the second coat of polish and then on the next finger I'm gonna put the dog on it. So this purple actually came out so beautiful. I didn't think the chrome would have much effect on the color, but it did. This is what I use. This is for my Sheen haul. Check it out if you haven't already. So for the dog, so you're, you're gonna start with like his head, get a brush and diffuse it. Then just add more gel polish as you see fit. I'm going to cure it for 30 seconds, then do his ears, then diffuse it. It's kind of like his fur. I'm going to add his mouth area. Um, create. I'm gonna create a bottom part of his head to connect to the top. Now for his body. And then before I cure this, I'm just gonna add his nose and his eyes. Once I cure that, I'm going to add the inside part of his ears and then his leash. And that's it. I'm going to top coat it um, with some gloss top coat. And then I'm going to use some matte top coat on my in index finger. And then cure that for 60 seconds. And then use some gloss top coat and create like a seashell kind of effect. Make sure you clean off your, your brush once you apply it to chrome. Okay, so with this solid gel, I was planning on just putting it right at the cuticle and diffusing it downwards. Uh, but that didn't work. I had to, I guess it was too much. And the gel was sticking to the brush. It was a mess. So I just uh, placed it all over the nail and then tried it out. Try a little amount on the pinky nail and diffused it upwards. So... That worked and I top coated everything and this is it for the video um, let me know what you think down below and I hope to see you guys in my next video bye, -bye.